The state government has promised two and a half million dollars to fix a notorious section of Budrum Malulabar Road. The speed limit will be lowered, guardrails are being installed and the surface will be treated. Since March last year, Tim Bridges has been waiting to have guardrails repaired on Budrum Malulabar Road. They were replaced with star pickets after a car crash destroyed them. He's come through the guardrail, through the fence and ended up just teetering on the on our retaining wall there, you know, like a metre away from my son's bedroom. For Tim and his stressed neighbours, rain equals crashes. Every time it rains, we just think, here we go again. Who's going to crash into what? It's just not a very good situation the way it is. It's been going on for 20 years. I've resurfaced the road a few times, uh, changed this, changed that, but still doesn't really address the problem. Seven News has chronicled a long line of crashes when the stretch is wet, showing just how slippery it can be. Now we have good news, a $2.4 million main roads program to improve safety. That's what we're here for, on safer roads. The speed limit will be reduced to 50 kilometres an hour. The road is fine as long as people stick to the speeds, but as soon as you go above the speed limit, um, it, it, it does become a safety issue. Guardrails are being extended on the downhill stretch. The treacherous uphill stretch remains unprotected. Main Road says the guardrail will be installed before the end of the financial year. A special treatment should be conducted on the road surface next week. Basically what it does is just roughen the surface. Um, hopefully not to an extent that'll make noise, it shouldn't. Welcome news for drivers and residents. And I got a letter from the Main Roads Minister just over two and a half weeks ago stating that the road is fine, nothing's wrong with it. But day after day, we had two and three cars going over the side of a bank. And I mean, that says something to anybody. Jennifer Nichols, 7 News.